Hello, welcome to the ASIC News Studio. I'm Chris Canarakis, and we're here to talk about something very important to any SAP customer, that's training. And I'm here with Karen Jones of... Uh, and Siley Solutions. And Siley Solutions, okay. And Dorinda Haskell-Palladino of Westcon. Uh, Dorinda has a really interesting story to tell us about Westcon's journey through SAP implementation. Could you kind of give us the Cliff Notes version of what happened, your rollout, and what happened with training around the world? Sure, thank you, Chris. Our training was quite simple. We started by PowerPointing our trainers, trainees, to death. To death? To death. You had actual fatalities. We, uh, probably somewhere along the way, we probably did. Oh my God. So we took them into a classroom for several days and just kept PowerPointing them and thinking that was going to be the best way for them to learn. Mm -hmm. And then we uh, moved on to our, our next implementation and rolled out a few other types of training but of course incorporated those uh, PowerPoints and job aids and things like that. Mm -hmm. And then we've come to our latest implementation where we've also included the Ansiley Uperform solution. So geographically, how did this rollout go? How is it going? You started out where? We started out in uh, North America. Okay. We went on to the Asia Pac region. Okay. And now we're working with our MIA counterparts. So what I heard, um, a source told me, uh, uh, it was you, you know, for, before this interview, uh, <laughs> that things didn't go so well in North America. And so tell us what happened and why, why they happened. Well, it's difficult to sit in a classroom for three or four days and be PowerPointed to death and, 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 and expect to get something from that, right? Right. Learners need the opportunity to absorb and uh, refer back to the information that they're, they're getting. 80% of what you learn in a classroom, especially in an adult environment, is lost when you walk out of the room. 80%? So 80%, right? Absolutely. So having other methods of um, retaining that information and absorbing that information is very, very critical to the success. Training is very key for a successful SAP implementation. What kind of user profiles are we talking about in Westcon? I mean, in terms of age and demographic and so forth? We go the gamut. Oh, really? So it's people that learn differently. All adult learners learn differently. And we have a, a lot of different uh, departments within our company also going through training. So it's a lot of different learning styles, too. Yeah, got it. So over to you, Karen. Um, a lot of times when a, a project goes wrong, an SAP or other ERP project goes wrong, uh, a lack of training is blamed for as one of the main culprits of that. Why is it that companies so apparently so often fail to emphasize training as part of their implementation plan? I think that there's so many things to think about during an SAP implementation that training can tend to get put to the last. And really, training should be put to the first, as well as all the way through. And also, training should not stop at go live. Training mm -hmm. should continue after go live. How long should it continue for? Oh, I would continue it really perpetually, because you have turnover, you have changes in your SAP programs, so you always need to keep your learners alert and learning. Really? Um, Dorinda, does training really have a lack of respect out there among the broader IT organization? I would have to guess that the answer is yes, because it's really the last thing that everybody thinks about. You know, we all just assume that we know what we need to know to get our job done in the course of a day, and at the end of the day, we affect our customer experience. Yeah. It's very, very important to have a positive customer experience because each and every one of us determines whether our customers will come back tomorrow for another order. Yeah, that's so true. And having solid training and a solid foundation helps in that arena. Well, I think we could close it out with one more question. Really kind of, if you could sum up the lessons you have learned and also the, that you intend to apply going forward based on all the training you've done. Train early, train often, and keep on training. <laughs> Excellent. Well, thanks for watching. Please tune in to acegnews.com for a lot more customer stories. Thanks for having us. Thanks. Thanks for having us.